After the translation of the Book of Mormon was complete, John Whitmer, the brother of David Whitmer, accompanied the Smith family and others where he saw and hefted the gold plates, becoming one of the eight witnesses. Although he eventually left the church, John continued to testify fervently of the divine origins of the Book of Mormon. Those wishing to dismiss the clear and powerful testimony of John Whitmer and of the other eight witnesses as well have often cited the third-hand hearsay that the eight witnesses never saw them, the plates, and hesitated to sign that instrument for that reason. However, John Whitmer directly contradicted this dismissal when he declared that he had no hesitancy in affirming the Book of Mormon as a divine revelation and, with all confidence, have signed my name to it. Some critics have claimed that the eight witnesses only saw and hefted the plates while they were covered or in a box, but this claim too is directly contradicted by John Whitmer. In an interview shortly before John's death, he was specifically asked if the plates were covered when he saw them. No, John answered. Joseph handed them uncovered into our hands, and we turned the leaves sufficient to satisfy us. The plates, based on this tangible examination, were as material as anything can be. John Whitmer lived the longest of all the eight witnesses, and as such, he took it upon himself to act as spokesman for the rest of the group in his final years. In a letter written about two years before his death, he wrote, I have never heard that any one of the three or eight witnesses ever denied the testimony that they have borne to the book published in the first edition of the Book of Mormon. Our names have gone forth to all nations, tongues, and people as a divine revelation from God, and it will bring to pass the designs of God according to the declarations therein contained. John Whitmer was a man of his word and continued to testify of the Book of Mormon when called upon to do so. Knowing the unusual nature of his shared sacred experience, John spoke as an eyewitness, both on his own behalf and also for the others. And now you know why.